Welcome back to All Bank TV News. Hi, on the couch today we've got Daniel and Peter, stars from the recent production of Les Mis. Uh, boys, I've got to say, what a production. Absolutely superb. Congratulations for that to you and to all the uh, members of the cast and crew and the staff that were involved in it as well. Uh, my first question is for Daniel. I want to ask you, uh, what are your feelings uh, in the run-up to the, to the production? What were, you, what were going through your mind there? Um, nerves? Yeah, actually no, there wasn't actually that many nerves. I was quite surprised. But uh, um, I think the last night was quite strange. It rather hit me then, but the run-up was rather... So Peter, what were you feeling then on the night when, you know, it's, like Daniel says, you didn't have like a proper full yeah. run through, so what was going through your mind on the night? Um, it was pretty surreal, um, with the curtains up and, and everyone was confident for the first act. We, we had the first act in the bag, Yeah. but I think between the cast it was just like a sense of relief, nerves, excitement after the first night and then the sky was the limit really. It yeah, just got yeah. to a whole other level by the final night. I mean, I don't think looking back at it, the cast can realise where we've come from. Yeah, that's true, that's true. And uh, if you had a few standing ovations? Um, yeah, all the cast deserved that standing ovation at the end. It was, wasn't was a single man job at all. Mm -hmm. So Daniel, tell us about your part in it then. Um, well, my part was um, on Joras. It's a really great part. So you enjoyed playing that part? Really enjoyed it, I'd do it again. Peter, what I'm interested in, as a house leader, you know, one of my, one of my jobs, one of my roles yeah. is to try and, you know, get students who don't know each other from different year groups all working yeah. together. Uh, I want to know more about that sort of camaraderie and the friendships you formed as, you know, as part of this production. Um, well, doing any production, you work with people for about roughly six months. So working with that, so many people for so long, you're always going to build up a friendship with some people and develop better ones with original friends. But then when it comes to the show, um, it's just a whole different experience. You've, if like you've bickered throughout the past few weeks, that just goes out the window. It's a case of forget it, about it, we've got to, yeah. to do this. And like halfway through the second show, my voice went mm. and I was really, really worried. And then everyone was just like, no, come on, we can do this, come on. And it just, it was a nice feeling to know that the cast was there behind you all the way. So everyone else's support let you switch it up to 11. Yeah, yeah. and then you're like, you, just get this like, like you said, switch up to 11, you get some strength that you didn't know you had, mm -hmm. but you get it from them. So would you say then boys that you've, as part of the production, you've formed new friendships with other students you didn't know before? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And we've got, we've got Oak Bank's ca got talent coming up, and I know you two are good, good friends, but in this, you're going to be coming up head to head. Uh, Daniel, do you feel any competition with Peter? I feel some competition with Peter, not, no, not much, he's an easy target to be honest, but yeah. We will. Sounds like fighting talk to me. Peter, knowing you, knowing you, I can't, I can't believe that you're going to say this is just a fight. I know you want to beat Daniel. Oh, obviously, yeah. Um, if I beat him, I'm not going to let him go over his head. <laughs> same, same if he beats me, but no. We'll still be there for each other even if it goes wrong in the night. It's a great attitude to have. So, uh, make sure you check out the boys at the show. Oak Bank's got, Oak Bank's got talent. It's coming out uh, after Easter. There's going to be, you know, the boys there and a range of other talents, a range of different acts. So make sure you're there, make sure you're there supporting them. Uh, thank you. We want to thank everyone for entering Oak Bank's Got Talent. We're down to the final acts for the show. Listen, these final few can enter, but only one can emerge as your champion of Oak Bank's Got Talent. Recently at Oak Bank, rugby has gone from strength to strength, resulting in one of our Year 9 students, Johnny Tanner, having an experience down at Twickenham. Back in November time, Johnny, Tanner, Eddie Hargreaves and Matty Staunton created this kit. You can see on the back, got a nice Oak Bank with the Oak Bank colours. Going away from, there's general colours to playing in red. This then led to one of our pupils being selected to go to Twickenham. Johnny was the fortunate one. And Johnny, how did you feel that day when you were down in Twickenham out in front of 70,000 odd people? Yeah, it felt quite strange, but I was nervous and excited. Nervous and excited. What did you make of the game as well? It, it wasn't the best of games, but we got to see it as well. Pleased to be there. Yeah. And what about the Wales game just shortly after? Not happy. No comment with that one, no comment with that one.